Good day, everyone. My name is Maxwell Biganim, and I am going to be your facilitator for the session. Introduction to KWIX. In this model, students would get to understand the architecture of KWIX and then how KWIX runs. What is KWIX? KWIX is a free and open source offline web browser that brings internet content to millions around the world who do not have access to internet. Ordinarily, people would want to access information over the internet. But then the question is, what happens when there is no internet? This is where KWIX present the opportunity to be able to access information and, if, and, and have access to information that ordinarily would be on the internet. And that is KWIX. As I said early on, KWIX is a free and open source offline web browser. What then does this mean? It allows you to browse text or video that is normally only available on the internet. So I said early on that in QX gives an opportunity for you to access information that ordinarily would be on the internet. Now also, various online content such as Wikipedia, for example, are turned into ZIM files. So content that has to be on the internet can be converted to a file called .zim files. And then these files can be accessed on KWIX. So for example, Wikipedia can be converted into ZIM files and then be accessed on KWIX offline for people to use. And also it can be used on a phone or on a PC. ZIM files are small enough that they can be stored on users' mobile phones, computers, or small, inexpensive hotspots. So the KWIX can be hosted on a Raspberry Pi that can be broadcasted for others to have access to. It, it is also available for phones, smart devices. It is also available on computers, be it Mac, be it Chrome, be it um, Windows. KWIX then acts like a regular browser, except that it reads these local copies. So then it, is, it serves as a local browser, but then it can only give you access to the content that you have already put on. So for example, you have converted Wikipedia to Zim files. Your local browser would only give you access to Wikipedia Zim file. However, it is not only limited to one content. You can have several other contents on. People with no or limited internet access can enjoy the same browsing experience as anyone else. So people without access to internet can still have a feel or even learn on how information is being accessed on internet. Who is then responsible for KWIX? The organization that is responsible is called KWIX. KWIX is a registered not-for-profit entity which neither collects users' data or puts out at. So the primary focus of KWIX is to allow people to access content that ordinarily will be on the internet. And then I said early on, there is an organization and the name of the organization is KWIX. Do I need to pay for the software? KWIX is free. It is entirely free. In a previous slide, I made mention of the fact that KWIX is a not-for-profit organization. 
So KOX is not in for profit making. But then to make sure information is available for all. So it is entirely free and it is open source. Open source means that you can share and distribute it without having to ask for permission. And also ensure that the content are also fully open source and free to use and share. This is one of the unique value proposition of KWEX. It is entirely free. It is open source. Anybody without restriction can use it. How then does it work? KWEX come into two folds. There is a reader and there is a content. The KWEX reader runs on almost any device. Phones, computers. For the end user, it feels pretty much like a regular browser as the experience is almost identical to browsing the source website, except that this time there is no internet. The content are, uh, the, content are the websites that have been turned into ZIM files, which I explained earlier that the reader can only access content that have been converted to ZIM files.